Welcome to the Mathematics Month culminating program with the theme, Mathematics for Everyone. To start with, let's have the opening prayer to be led by Faith Micaela F. Cebolino. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord of Most High, you are our source of greatest protection and strength from all uncertainties and negativity. We humbly ask for forgiveness for the times that we fail to be parallel and not even coinciding to your will. We thank you a hundredfold for your infinite love and care and the wide range of opportunities and blessings you graft for us. We implore your Holy Spirit, Lord, that we may in return multiply our blessings and divide them among your people, add inspiration to others, to subtract doubts, be bounded inside your infinite plane of goodness, and be roots to fulfill our function, which is to increase that circumference of the circle of your love. To sum it all, may we continuously strive to straighten all curves and plan for actions which are pleasing to your eyes. All this we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Lady, assume into heaven, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the opening remarks, let us now listen to the academic chairperson of the mathematics department, Mrs. Yanina D. Manalo. Good morning, empowered champions. If there's one concept in math that students have imprinted in their minds, that would be, without a doubt, the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It is the counterpart of the mitochondria in science, which everyone remembers as the powerhouse of the cell. This famous theorem was named after Pythagoras, who aside from being a mathematician, was also a philosopher. He believed that numbers are the ultimate objects of reality and that all things are made of numbers. If we simplify his philosophy, what he meant was that mathematics is everywhere and for everyone. If we say that everyone is equally talented or interested in math, then we would be lying. But to say that math is only for those who are proficient in it is also wrong. The truth is, everyone has the capacity to learn the fundamentals of mathematics that will allow them to understand and engage in our world. Everyone is free to do arithmetic, understand fractions, percents, basic algebra and graphing, geometry and basic statistics and probability. Everyone can learn how to recognize patterns, quantify relationships, and predict the future. Math is a way of thinking, a method of solving problems and explaining arguments, a foundation upon which modern society is built, and a structure where nature is patterned after. There are no restrictions on who can adapt, embrace, and use math in their lives. The truth is, there are three meanings all wrapped up in the phrase, Mathematics for Everyone. Everyone can learn to have the joy and pleasure of doing math in their life, even if they don't become professionals in the field. Some people will get serious about it, and there will be visionaries who will change the way we think and do math. Whoever you are among these three, you are in a good position. You may possess an enthusiastic attitude towards math because you enjoy how it challenges your mind and you like the rewarding feeling you get when you solve a problem. You may be serious about it because you know that it will be vital to the path you plan to take in the future. And who knows, one of you may be the next to prove a theorem or propose a new one. You might be the first to solve the unsolvable in math or introduce a new concept that will change the course of the academe and the world itself. If you don't see yourself in this, though, 
then this is me reiterating that math is for everyone, not necessarily for everyone to love or excel at, but for everyone to discover and learn. In this Math Week celebration, the omnipresent and all-embracing characteristics of math had never been more evident. Everyone, from the students, faculty, and non-teaching personnel, was free to join the different activities and competitions through the Math O, Tic Tac Toe, Rubik's Cube competition, and Quiz B. Our whole department hoped to promote inclusivity in mathematics. This celebration was planned with everyone in mind. We would like to congratulate all the winners and thank all who participated in this event. If everyone can remember that the Pythagorean theorem is represented by the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then everyone is also capable of knowing other easier or more complex mathematical concepts. May this be a reminder to everyone that there is so much more to know than the popular theorem. And Pythagoras was right. Numbers are not just numbers. They are the ultimate objects of reality that make up the world around us. Hence, to understand everything, we need to start with math. Luckily, all of us are given the liberty and privilege to do so. Mathematics is for you, for me, and for everyone. Thank you and may God bless us all. Hail Assumption! We now present to you the different activities and competitions with its objectives, guidelines and mechanics, and the winners which were held during the Math Week celebration. In Math O, which is similar to Bingo, mathematical symbols are used in place of numbers. The objective is to become familiar with mathematical symbols that are frequently used in mathematics. Mechanics 1. The pattern of symbols to win Math O will be explained by the committee to the players. 2. Each player will be given a card made up of two random mathematical symbols. 3. The caller will call out symbols that are randomly selected. 4. Should the player see the symbol on the card, the player should mark the symbol. 5. Once the player marked enough symbols to win a prize, the player should shout, Math O. Mechanics 1. The quiz B is open to all UEJHS students and personnel. 2. Each section will be divided into groups with 5 members each. 3. There are 20 questions. Each question will revolve around estimation such as prices, population, measurements, and etc. 4. The questions will be read by the quiz master twice. The team may start writing their answer while the quiz master is reading the question. Each question will be answered in one minute. All teams should raise their answer after the time allotted expired. 
5, the quiz master shall read and verify the group's answers. 6. The group or groups who will get the nearest answer will be awarded one point. 7. The top three teams with the highest number of points shall be declared as the champion, first runner-up, and second runner-up. Faculty and Non-Teaching Personal Edition Second Runner-Up English Department First Runner-Up MAPE Department And the Champion for Quiz B Faculty and Non-Teaching Personal Edition Science Department Tic-Tac-Toe Mechanics One Choose the first player. 2. The first player must pick two numbers from the lower box to start the game. Picking two numbers is only allowed during the very first move. 3. After picking two numbers below, those two numbers will serve as the factors of the numbers in the upper box. To place an X or O, you must multiply your way using two numbers in the lower box. 4. There must be only one move per round, meaning you can only move one number from the lower box. 5. The first player to form three or four straight X or O vertically, horizontally, or diagonally will be declared as winner. Our tic-tac-toe winners in each section in the grade 9 level. Reinhard Ethan T. Salazar, 9 St. Augustine. Race Draven R. Deason, 9 St. Thomas Aquinas. Trisha S. Lapus, 9 St. Gregory. Michelle Miren Y. Nevera, 9 St. Athanasius. Michael Vincent P. Garcia, 9 St. Ambrose and Audrey Natalie P. Lohenio, 9 St. Jerome. First runner up, Michael Vincent P. Garcia of 9 St. Ambrose and the champion of the Grade 9 Council, Michelle Miren Y. Nivera of 9 St. Athanasius. Our Grade 10 Tic Tac Toe winners in each section. Paul James M. Santos, 
10 St. Paul Peter, Maynard P. Bautista, 10 Pope Pius XII, Jill Kelly D. Delgado, 10 Pope John Paul II, Elisha Ann B. Sanchez, 10 Pope Francis, Lois Sivanis S. Paras, 10 Pope Leo XIII, John Lloyd G. Sichon, 10 Pope John XXIII, Hilary K. L. Calma, 10 Pope Benedict XVI, Mitch Angela D. Batobalani, 10 Pope Paul VI. First runner-up, Elisha Ann B. Sanchez of 10 Pope Francis. And the champion of the Great 10 Council, Lois Ivanis S. Paras of 10 Pope Leo XIII. Rubik's Cube Competition Mechanics 1. The competition is open to all bona fide students of the UA Junior High School. 2. Players should bring their own 3x3 three three cubes. 3. Players are given 15 seconds to scramble his or her opponent's cube. 4. Players are given 15 seconds to inspect before solving the cube, after which, they must set the cube back on their table. 5. The players must then set both hands on the table before pressing the start on the timer and solving the cube. Once the player is finished, the cube must be set on the table and then the timer must be stopped. 6. The player will not be allowed to touch the cube and reset the timer before the judge has recorded the result. 7. There will be three rounds. 8. In any round, if at least one part of the cube used by the player will be displaced from the cube accidentally, the player will still be allowed to fix and continue solving the puzzle, given that his time will also continue. 9. The time for each round will be recorded and summed up after the three rounds. 10. All players will be ranked accordingly to fastest time completed. 11. The player with the least time will be declared champion while the second fastest will be awarded as the first runner-up. Congratulations to all the winners and to all Empowered Champion students and employees. Always remember, mathematics is everywhere and for everyone. Math helps us understand the world and we use the world to understand math. And to end this program, we now have the closing prayer to be led to us by Alessandra Jane C. Timbol to be followed by the Assumption Hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, God of absolute goodness, we exponentially thank you for so many reasons and the different seasons of our life. You are like an integer in us, who makes things possible and incredible. Thank you, Lord, for the equitable sum of blessings which are coming our way. Thank you for holding us closely every time we feel like there are numerous denominators we need to face in our life. As we culminate our Math Week celebration, allow your Spirit to be with us and stay with us for us to work together congruently and in high degree of excellence of mind and heart. All these we pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, 
the equation solver of all times, and with the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Mary assumed into heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.